Hey! <laughs> right, we have just arrived in El Nido in Palawan in the Philippines. It's been a long journey getting here. Like, first of all, we flew in from Manila, which is about an hour's flight, an hour ten. And then from there, you had like a five hour, almost six hour drive from there. We are here now. We are staying at the Cida Leo, which is pretty new. I think it's just open now. Because this is the thing, when we're going to book it, it was hard to book a place without a reviews or any photos or anything. You'll be one of the first people to see this. Just get a sense of what the rooms are like. I just like this. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, let me just see what it's like outside. Ooh. Right, yeah, my camera is uh, fucking up, but basically there's like the outdoor bits here. And from what I can tell, the pool's over there <laughs> somewhere. But yes, that's it. <laughs> Very quickly, we're here. <laughs> so currently, like, we have no idea where to go, like, for dinner or anything like that. So we're going to go figure that out. Um, I'm thinking, you know, it's like 7 o'clock now or something, or 6, 15. I'm just thinking we'll just stay here. <laughs> like, you know, just, just have food here. here. I know, chill in the pool. I don't know what time the pool we shuts for. Pool time. Yeah. yeah, might as well just have food here and do yeah. that instead. It's my holiday. I'm doing whatever I want. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get ready now. I shall see you later. Good morning. Right, I didn't get to show you what it looked like yesterday because it was dark and there's no way I could show you that properly. But I'm gonna go for breakfast and so I'm gonna try and show you outside because we did actually go out and go into the pool and went to have some cocktails as well last night and it is beautiful. And I'll show you. Right, so that's the pool bar area. And the pool, which is kind of like three layers. There's one here, there's one behind that, and there's one kind of in the corner there. Well, look, that's what I was saying here. There's this pool, there's that pool over here, and then there's like one more here, which I guess is like the biggest jacuzzi in the world. <laughs> oh, wow. Just heading down to the beach. So this is the beach as part of the property here, but it is, oh, I like. And just like that, we are in Palawan. <laughs> Oh boy. Right, we're about to tricycle it into town. Where do we sit? This side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're back at the hotel. I have fundamentally done nothing. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. We've booked the uh, tours for tomorrow. So we've done a couple of tours all booked. We have also had lunch and drinks down by the beach. So right now, we're just going to go down to the pool and the beach area here and just See relax. You. Yeah, watch the sunset, do nothing for the rest of the day. Right, we are up on our very first tour, and then we're going on a tour A and B, which is like a tour to different islands, but there are like four of them, A, B, C, D, and we're doing A and B now. So there we go. It's one of these boats we're taking. Decided to do our own, have our own boat as well. Doesn't cost that much more than doing it as a group. It's just so much more convenient. You can go where you need to go, and you can change and chop up all the plans as you want. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Now. We're up. Um, so obviously, like I was saying, we got our own boat, so that means we can go like when we want to. Like you don't have to wait for everybody else, which is great because like everybody else is back on shore now, so like we're getting like a good head start. But it is slightly cloudier than it was yesterday. I think, but um, yeah, still nice. <laughs> Here we are. Seven Commando Beach with like barely anybody here. I have no idea why I thought it would be a good idea to bring my backpack on here now. <laughs> and I'm sweating out all the sunscreen I put on. The less waves here, so the water's a lot clearer. <laughs> Barbecue's fired up. <laughs> We've just stopped for lunch in this beach, but there's like no one around. <laughs> but I got the whole thing to ourselves. Well, found two stragglers over there. Shoo! Get off my beach! <laughs> lunch is ready. Oh, lunch is so good. I shouldn't tell you, show you my tummy right now. <laughs> it is like so full. But yeah, we're just gonna get on now. I think we're going to a few more islands. Yes. 
it's still like about one-ish or so. It just feels so much longer because it feels like we've done so much yeah. today. We're gonna go back and get back on our boat, which is just there. Right, we just got to Snake Island now. And apparently there's a viewpoint somewhere up front. Don't know how good it is, but there's like a little bit of an uphill hike bit here. This is where we're headed. Somewhere up there. There we go. Actually over there, that's our boat there. The views here are incredible. Um, also, it's very easy to fall down here. So I need to put this camera away before I slip and go down onto the beach. For island number, I've lost count. <laughs> We're in uh, Tudugnan Island. And then there's some caves here. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get to them though. But um, they're dry inside, so you don't actually need to swim through or anything. Right, that's the, <laughs> the hole we have to get through to get into the cave. And that's the technique. Go on, Light. You can do it. This is incredible. This is too delicious to not enjoy. <laughs> I just ripped my pants. Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was impressive. Somewhere there is where we're going. I don't know where everybody else is. I've kind of lost them. I think we're going where we went to yesterday, actually, which is not a bad idea because the food is good there. Hey. So it's been really, really rainy today, like seriously rainy. The rain has just let up now, it's about noon now. So we just figured we might as well like try to salvage the tour we have today. Like we had two tours booked today, but we can only do one of them really, which is better than nothing. <laughs> so instead of tour C, which is then the water's too choppy to go and do, we're gonna do tour D instead, which is pretty close and it's like beaches and stuff around us anyway. Have lunch there and just basically make the most of the day, which, might be a good thing in retrospect. <laughs> right, we've changed our boat. So we're going on Gia over there. Wow, so this is our first stop. The lagoon, which is kind of this way here and all of this. Ourselves for lunch in the boat today, mangoes, melons. I'm guessing that is also melon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's pork in the distance there, tuna, and stuff happening in the back. <laughs> lunch is served. We are at spot number two. Look at this water. Number three. Four. I just love how huge these mountains are. Oh my gosh, we have been on the road since like 8.30 this morning. It is currently probably about midnight or close to midnight. But anyway, we are finally in Bohol. I can't even believe how long that journey was. I feel like there's an easier way to do it. And we're going to commit to ourselves to find an easier way to get back. But it was like a five and a half hour ride. Then we go to the airport. Then a one and a half hour flight. You wait at the airport again for a bit. Then, yes, then a boat ride. And then a taxi ride again. And it's just, yeah, we have been traveling like all day. But anyway, we're here now. We're at the hotel. We're staying at the Bellevue. Um, I have no idea what the grounds look like because again, it's midnight. This is where we are staying. Which one is a pretty big room, which I like because I hate having to figure out what to do with my suitcase, especially because we're here for like a week. Right, this is the bathroom, which I had missed on. <laughs> it's actually quite big, I'm so surprised. This is probably gonna be like the more chilled, more laid back part of the trip really. I'll try to show you over it tomorrow. We're gonna go for breakfast and uh, yeah, till then, good night. I shall catch you later. Right, this is the hotel lobby. Uh, I should have shown you this yesterday, but well, basically it's like there's a pool and the beach is over there, but well, whatever. I'll show you that some other time. Ooh, fishy. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, the humidity. And the AC are not helping the matches at all here. Wow, 
just that color of the water. It's crazy. Go the blood uh, compact. Yeah, that sound. That name just sounds so strange. Back along the oldest coral stone church in the region. So that's the outside of the church. Right, we are taking that boat and heading down the Lubuck River. Okay, Lloyd, still awake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet goodness, this is one shaky bridge. Oh dear. <laughs> it is super bouncy, this bridge. Wow, there's some long stairs to get to the top of this. Right, we're finally at the Chocolate Hills. It is actually not chocolate right now because it's still rainy season. It's really green, but apparently in summer when the dry season hits, it goes really, really brown. There we go, Chocolate Hills. But anyway, got like 200 or something steps to get to the top. And you've got like a 360 view of everything. So I'll show you that when we get up there. <laughs> So this is where we've been staying, which I haven't had the chance to show you since. That snorkeling was a brilliant like we actually got to see the turtles properly this time and a lot, I mean the coral is beautiful as well I have no idea where we're going, we're just following the music now I don't really know like what's on this island, I feel like it's just people's homes <laughs> like I think it's just people living here apparently it's a diver's island <laughs> but um, yeah I figured I might as well just stop off here, get a drink and stuff before we get back onto the boat and head back to town which hopefully will be in time to be able to catch the um, fireflies Fingers crossed. Right, we are gonna go watch some fly, fireflies, fireflies, fireflies on the river, but look, <laughs> we're going somewhere down there anyway to go find them. <laughs> Fitting. So I just grab a life jacket. Ah, thank you. Okay, Lloyd? Yeah. <laughs> we're about to go in the darkness. I'm not gonna be able to film you. 